Hello. And welcome to another edition of Dan's All Drinks Considered. I'm Dan, and as you can see, this is a drink. So here we are in the dead of winter, uh, this being recorded uh, getting towards the middle part of January. It'll probably air towards the end of the month. Uh, so what better time to take a trip to the islands? Uh, we'll do that today with Calypso, Taste of the Islands, Paradise Punch Lemonade. Uh, this comes to us from the islands, well, the warm, sandy beaches of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. No, well, all right. They actually had a few different varieties of this. Uh, there was a blue ocean or ocean blue lemonade one, for instance. I don't recall exactly what was in that or what at least supposedly was in it. Um, I think there were a few other colors as well, but fruit punch is always a good bet. So I grabbed this one. Looks like we have, in addition to a base of lemonade, it looks like we have oranges, uh, cherries, grapes, we have some real lemon bits in it as well. What else do we have on the label here? <clears throat> Taste of the Islands. Again, this is made in Milwaukee. Anyway, Taste of the Islands. There's not just one single slice of paradise. There are, in fact, several slices of paradise. Well, those are the options. There are orange slices, pineapple slices, lemon slices, and if grape and cherry could be sliced, I'd put them on the list, too. So says Jojo. And it's a bit unclear if uh, Jojo is this uh, reclining lizard here, or the owner of the company, or perhaps both. Um, natural flavors, island-inspired. Um, there, if you're interested, are the uh, nutrition facts. Uh, we have uh, one serving per container here. Ingredients, filtered water, sugar lemon juice concentrate, uh, citric acid, lemon fruit pulp, natural flavors, modified food starch, good old red number 40. So, uh, yeah, this might be all right. Um, the name Calypso, and of course here it's being used as the brand name, but it does just bring back a memory, which really has nothing to do with anything at the moment, but, uh, Years ago, probably we're talking early, early 90s, I would say. Um, I believe it was Chiquita had a juice called Calypso Breeze, which had probably, among other things, strawberry and kiwi. I think those were the two main fruits in it. And it came in a, a carton, like a, an orange juice carton or a milk carton. And as I recall, as a kid at least, I thought that was really, really good. I don't know exactly when they stopped making it, but... Um, I would say no later than 1994 or so. I could be a bit off, but uh, that's as I remember it. It was, again, I'm pretty sure pretty early 90s. Um, doesn't look like either of those fruits, strawberries or kiwis, are in this. So, again, doesn't really have anything to do with anything other than padding time. But, uh, well, there's a random memory all the same. So, without further ado at this point, we will go through the visual test, the smell test, and the taste test once we get this open. We have on the cap, shake, sip, and repeat. Shake well down here. Um, I think that's actually it. I thought there was another shake well message, but I guess not. We'll get this uh, plastic stuff off. We're in. Alright, so we do need to shake it well, so Shaking has commenced. Mm. All right, <laughs> that should be good. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, pop this open and uh, give it a try. See if there's anything under the cap, like uh, Snapple or anything. Um, nope, that's a bit disappointing. Anyway. We do have a nice uh, pinkish red color as far as the visual element goes. Smell test. Yeah, it smells like a fruit punch. Um, definitely with maybe a little bit more uh, citrus in the uh, smell profile than you would often find in fruit punch. And certainly that I'm sure is due to the uh, 
base of lemonade, the orange, and I actually missed it on first inspection, but the uh, pineapple, I did mention pineapple on the uh, little blurb on the back. Um, yeah, I expect this will be probably be pretty good, so we'll give it a, a shot now with the all-important taste test. pretty nice. Um, it does definitely lean into that citrus side a little bit more than you often would find with other fruit punches. Um, it definitely has that citrus tartness to it. I would say the uh, fruit that comes through the most strongly probably is the orange, actually. Um, maybe the pineapple is a close behind it, but yeah, I would say the orange comes through most strongly to me. Um, yeah, pretty good, pretty refreshing. Um, not a bad fruit punch, so if you see it, I'd say give it a shot and maybe try one of the other flavors too. Maybe I will at some point also. So uh, there you have it. Another week of Dan's All Drinks Considered in the books. Many more weeks, many more drinks. We'll see you next time.